Welcome to our five on five. Pleased to be joined today by Heidi Wright, the Chief Operating Officer for EO Media. Thank you for coming in. Good to Thank see you. Thank you. Great to see you. Pleasure. So you are you EO Media. You're you're launching a new newspaper in the Rogue Valley, and mm -hmm. now called the Rogue Valley Tribune. Uh, right. For viewers who may be unfamiliar, what paper or news operations does EO Media operate already in the state? Well, uh, we're primarily uh, across the state. We have six papers over on the east side of the state in uh, Baker City and La Grande and Enterprise and John Day and then Pendleton and Hermiston. And then we have Capital Press, which is a regional agricultural publication, as well as the Astorian and the Seaside Signal out on the coast. And then the Long Beach Observer, Schnook Observer over in Long Beach, Washington. A so, lot of papers. And then, of course, the Bulletin and the Redmond Spokesman in Central Oregon. Yeah, so, and this yes. is your first operation here in, in the southern part of the state. Correct. So the, the Mail Tribune just closed up shop this month. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you announced almost immediately that you were setting up operations and starting very soon. Did, was that coincidental or have you been working on this for some time? Um, well, we've, we've been talking to Mr. Saslow for a while and... Um, yeah, so it, it's uh, not been, um, it's not been... Uh, wasn't off the cuff. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> off the cuff. Yes, thank you. <laughs> exactly. Okay, and, and so are you, are you working with them at all? I, I don't know the ins and outs of, of your business dealings, mm -hmm. of course, but are, they, are you working with them possibly buying infrastructure or their printing operations? Uh, at this time, no, we are not. So mm, okay, just, and, and uh, we think it would be better to just start up a... A publication. Okay, and and I know you obviously. This is not the first time you've been in town. We've we've mm -hmm. heard that you've been in town before recently. Uh, have you set up an office or, or press, or what's that situation stand uh, today? We'll be printing with an outside printer. We won't be bringing a press in. And yes, I am uh, happy to say that we have um, an office secured as of about an hour ago. We are going to be sharing some space in the. Southern Oregon Historical Society building, which I think most of your viewers would be familiar with. Yeah, right here in downtown Medford. Right here in downtown Medford. <laughs> so we have a letter of intent uh, worked out with uh, Ron Kramer and mm -hmm. uh, you know, pending um, his board approval, I think that will be a great uh, synergy between our two organizations. Well, exciting times right now, mm -hmm. a lot, lot more, to, more to come. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Heidi Wright, the Chief Operating Officer for EO Media, uh, launching the Rogue Valley Tribune here mm -hmm. uh, in Southern Oregon in the Rogue Valley. When officially are you launching? Well, we're going to be publishing a um, piece called Hello Medford, and it won't be the official first inaugural edition of the paper, but it'll just more introduce us to the to the valley and also talk a little bit about our staff. We think we will have enough staff on board, but to answer your question, we're hoping to have that piece out in the next two weeks. And it will be a, a full newspaper, but again, not with the traditional reporting of a newspaper. Our website is already live for people to sign up on. That's rvtrib.com. And um, so anyway, we'll have that piece coming out and we're intending to have that be mailed to all the households in the community. So they'll be seeing that within the next 10 days we're shooting for. So we'll be out with our first official newspaper uh, within two weeks. And as we began, your, your operation has, has papers all over the state and mm -hmm. Washington State as well. Any, any thoughts now that you're venturing into Southern Oregon to expand beyond just the Rogue Valley, if you will? No, I think we need to uh, settle in and uh, do a good job for the, for the readers here and uh, make a success of this. We acquired the Ben Bulletin out of bankruptcy three and a half years ago, mm. and we've done a lot of work there, and I think we have a, a good playbook to come in and create a sustainable operation that funds a newsroom that will be able to report on the local community. So no, to answer your question, okay. no, um, no other acquisitions in the works at this time. And you've talked to our reporters about how you're in the hiring process right now. Mm -hmm. uh, how will the paper look uh, differently in, in six months versus it, at its infancy? Uh, well, we'll be able to, over the next six months, we're mm -hmm. going to be adding more staff. We're hoping to get our uh, newsroom staffing of 14 up um, to that number fairly quickly. Over the next six months, we'll also be launching, in fact, that'll happen sooner rather than later, a Go Rogue um, entertainment piece, much like what was produced before. Mm -hmm. And um, 
and other publications as we see the need. But our, our primary purpose and our primary focus will be putting content uh, up on our website as soon as it happens, as soon as reporters write a story and it's edited and it's ready, that will go up to our website and then we will uh, publish in the print edition on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And with that, there will also be an e-edition of the paper that will be delivered, I like to say, in your inbox. Sure. It'll be in your mm -hmm. mailbox in the afternoon. It'll be in your inbox by 5 a.m. Okay. So we'll wait and see. You know, we, we need to get our feet under us and see what else we'll be adding on over the next six months. Mm -hmm. And I know some papers, you know the newspaper business far better than I, some papers are considered liberal, some are considered conservative, and I, I guess that's mostly through the editorial process mm -hmm. and the, the um, endorsements, if you will, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word, um, in political season. It, any feelings for which way this paper will go, if any? Well, we like to say with, uh, with our ownership and you know, with our newspapers, we, I think we hopefully lean center that would be our goal. We don't, we don't lean to one party or the other. Uh, by its nature, some of our publications are, are uh, more for a conservative audience, such as our Capital Press agricultural publication. And in some of our markets, we, like, we want to reflect the market. Um, so that's all of what we strive to do is, first of all, have credible, relevant, reflective news in the markets we're serving. And from the um, editorial side, you know, that will depend on, you know, I, I'd like to bring a community edit board together and offer different opinions. So I don't think it serves us well to have an echo chamber uh, for any news gathering operation. So long answer to your question. Sure. We try to lean center. Yeah, it's, it's a complicated question, I understand. It is. Good to meet you. I know how busy you are. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you very much. Stay with us. We'll be right back.